Hello everyone, it's Judy and you welcome to Smartwatch series. Google Assistant is one of the best apps for Wear OS smartwatches. With Google Assistant, you can set up an alarm, you can start a call, you can check the weather, and you can even browse the internet using just your voice. Google Assistant by default is preloaded on your Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. However, if for some reason Google Assistant is not showing on your Galaxy Watch, have done a video on how you can get Google Assistant, simply tap on the card that shows up on the screen right now to learn how to get Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 5. So guys, to set up Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 5 or Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you need internet connectivity and you also need to have a Google account active on the watch. What I have here is the Bluetooth version of the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and I have Wi-Fi enabled. Once you enable Wi-Fi, this will automatically connect to my phone Wi-Fi network. If you don't have a Wi-Fi network, you can simply use your phone cellular data. If you own the LTE model of the Galaxy Watch 5 or Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can use the cellular data of the watch or simply connect to a Wi-Fi network. So now that we have internet enabled, the next thing we need to do is to confirm that we have a Google account active on the watch. When you set up your Galaxy Watch 5 or Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you are required to add a Google account. If you didn't do that, then simply tap on the settings app and go to where it says accounts and backup. Okay, tap on this. And from here, you can see that I have a Google account already here. If you don't have one, simply tap on Google account and go ahead and tap on add account and this will prompt you to continue to add a google account on your phone and once you have done that go ahead and launch the google assistant app this is the app here i'll tap on this to launch the app so go ahead and tap on get started and this will prompt you to continue on your phone and it says i'm um, connecting to your watch your assistant will be right with you so guys, it says um, set up Google Assistant, use your voice to send text, manage your day and more. So I'm going to tap on activate. It says assess your assistant with Hey Google. Okay, your watch will wait in standby mode to give you hands-free help. Standby mode uses more watch battery. I'm going to tap on no thanks. If you want this particular function, simply go ahead and tap on next. And it says um, get personal results on your watch. Okay, I'm going to tap on turn on. And it says talk to your assistant with a button. And this is talking about customizing the home key to allow you to easily access uh, Google Assistant. We're going to talk about that later on. So I'm going to tap on got it. And it says your assistant is ready. I'll tap on done. And that is it. You have successfully set up Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 5 or Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So I'll just go ahead and launch the Google Assistant app. Hey Google. I'm listening. What's up? What is today's date? It's Wednesday, the 5th of April, 2023. How can I burn calories? Here's a summary from Medline Plus. Being more active burn. So guys, that is what it's like using Google Assistant on the Galaxy Watch 5 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. One thing you should note is that for you to use Google Assistant, you need internet connectivity. So guys, last but not the least, we need to make Google Assistant easily accessible because swiping all the way down here to access Google Assistant can take a lot of time. So to do this, we simply go to the settings up here. We go to advanced features and we go to customize some um, keys. Uh, what you have here, you have um, the upper key and you have the back key. The upper key is the home key. We have two options here, double press or press and hold. If you go to this point, we can choose Google Assistant. So that when you double press this, you can easily access Google Assistant or you can choose press and hold. Okay, this is already set to Bisbee. I will just go to double press and I will choose Google Assistant. The back here can only be set to this particular two options. Go to previous screen or show recent apps. So guys, when I double press the home key here, it will assess Google Assistant. So guys, that is it for this video. Uh, before I go, before I go, one more thing, one more thing. For some reason, you know, for some people, when you launch the Google Assistant app, it doesn't um, 
work as it should okay it doesn't respond properly um, what you need to do in this case is to reboot the watch rebooting the watch fix the problem for me okay so guys that is it for this video if you find this video helpful give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed click on the subscribe button until next time goodbye <music>